Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, I'm going to be going over my Houston Astros offseason plan, what I think the Astros should do this offseason. We're going to be going over the manager position for the Astros, free agency, trades, and also we're going to be going over, you know, other the free agents that the Astros have that are on their team, whether they should walk them, let them walk, let them walk, or um, or resign them, and then also, um, we're also this is also I believe the Astros. I think this is the best plan to help them. Um, this is the best. This is the best and realistic offseason plan, in my opinion, for the Houston Astros. Let's get into it. So starting off with trades, I think the Houston Astros make two trades. These are the two trades I think the Astros should make. Trade Jake Myers and Jose Urquidy for Alex Verdugo. The Astros need to bring in a left-hander, uh, sorry, a left a left fielder with the, Houston, with, with the Houston Astros having Michael Brantley as a free agent, and most likely the Astros are not going to re-sign him. So you need a left fielder, either sign one in free agency or trade for one. Verdugo is an efficient hitter. He batted 264 last year. A really good hitter, 13 home runs, 54 RBIs. He's a really good fielder, outfielder as well, and um, I think it'd be a great addition for the Astros. I think that would be enough to get the deal done too. And next, I think the Astros set the tone by getting a starting pitcher. Trading this isn't this might be a trade Astros fans don't like, but trading J.P. France and Joey Luperfito, who is the Astros' sixth best prospect, is a first baseman and a second baseman, and can play the outfield as well. Now for Corbin Burns, uh, you mean they need starting pitching. They need a first baseman. So this is for the for the for the uh, Brewers here. This is them knocking out two needs and getting rid of Burns, who is going to be a free agent the next year. Uh, and he would add you would add him to an elite rotation next to Justin Verlander, Framber Valdez, and Christian Javier. All right, getting into free agents that the Astros have, uh, Michael Brantley. Let him walk. Uh, let him let him go somewhere else. Martin Maldonado, I think everybody knows this answer. Let him walk. Um, and Hector Neres, let him walk as well. Um, I think he's going to be too expensive. I don't think the Astros should pay that. Um, Phil Maton, uh, re-sign him. They're making a friendly team deal. Uh, don't overpay him. If if he's if he's if he's asking for too much money. You go get another reliever somewhere else. You could go pay. Uh, you can go pay just a little bit more money for Matt Moore. The Astros need a left-hander. So uh, honestly, if the Astros can get a guy like Matt Moore, who's a left-hander, and the Astros need a left-handed pitcher, and they can let Phil Maton, and they'd have to let Phil Maton walk, uh, let him go elsewhere uh, to. Get that deal done. I do that if I'm the Astros. I don't think the Astros would be able to sign Matt Moore. Uh, so in that case, I'll re-sign Phil Maton, but um, not for not too expensive. You want it at the right price for the Astros. And then Ryan Stanek, I let him walk. Ryan Stanek has been great for the Astros for the last couple of years, but he had a down year this year for the Astros. Um, and then getting into the biggest thing for the Astros for the offseason, and that is the manager position. I think the Astros should hire Joe Espada as their next manager. That's probably the thing I should have done first. But, um, yeah, I think the Astros should hire Joe Espada as their next manager. And then getting into free agency. Uh, I have the Houston Astros making a huge move in free agency, and that is signing one of the best relievers in baseball, Josh Hader. Or jo Josh Hader, um, who, who's, had a gr who's been great for the Padres. Um, signed him to a three-year, sixty-four point five million dollar deal, which was t which is twenty-one point five million million dollars a year. And then also with letting Martin Maldonado walk, you're gonna need a catcher. No, you're not gonna need a starting catcher. You're gonna need a, you're gonna need a backup catcher. Um, I don't think you need to trade for one. You're gonna have to give up prospects. Um, and I think a good move for the Astros would be to sign Tom Murphy. Uh, who comes from the Mariners, had eight home runs, 17 RBIs, had a solid batting averages here with the Mariners, till one year, $4.5 million deal. Um, the Astros are going to need a backup catcher. Right now, I'm not really comfortable with anybody else, you know, in the minors. The next the next man up would probably be Cesar Salazar. I didn't really like what I saw from him last year. Um, and if Yana Diaz ever needs a day off or, 
Um, God forbid gets hurt. Um, I think Tom Murphy would be a very solid starting catcher for the Astros if the Astros ever needed him. He'd be that backup catcher. Yanni Diaz is going to be a starter, but the Astros are going to need a backup catcher with Maldonado gone. I think Tom Murphy, Murphy would be a great addition for the Astros, adding him in as the backup catcher. Then getting into what the team would look like for the Houston Astros uh, after everything is done. Uh, starting catcher, Yanni Diaz. Starting first baseman, Jose Abreu. Starting second baseman, Jose Altuve. Starting third baseman, Alex Bregman. Starting shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Starting left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Starting center fielder, Chas McCormick. Starting right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Uh, D- and the DH would be Jordan Alvarez. Then your bench. Um, yeah, Tom Murphy and Moise Dubon. Those are the two guys that are the guarantees in the, in the, on the bench. But then you have the final two bench spots for the hitters will be a competition. With Jake Myers gone, there's going to be an outfielder spot open for the Astros. I think the Astros consider giving those final two spots to four players. The following four players being Pedro Leon, Corey Jokes, uh, Corey Jokes, and uh, Greg Hessinger and Justin Dearden. Ultimately, I think the two players that would probably make the opening day roster would be Justin Dearden and Greg Kessinger. But I could see Pedro Leon uh, or Corey Jokes making the opening day roster as well. And then you're starting for your starting pitching. Uh, and here's what the six man rotation would look like. And who knows if Luis Garcia or Lance McCullers Jr. would be uh, ready to go, you know, opening day. But if they are, which I doubt it, uh, here's what it would look like uh, one, Corbin Burns, two, Justin Verlander, three, Fran Valdez, four, Christian Javier, five, Lance McCullers Jr., six, Luis Garcia. Then your bullpen, your bullpen, Josh Hader, Ryan Presley, Kendall Graveman. Phil Maton, Hunter Brown. With a six-man rotation for the Astros, I don't think the Astros want to give up. I don't think the Astros would want to give away Hunter Brown because he is a good talent. I just don't think he's 100% ready for the Astros. I think after after the, the year after this year for the Astros, I think, um, 2000, I think 2025 is his takeoff year. 2024 for the Astros, I think he's going to have a solid season, but I think his takeoff year as a superstar for the Astros will be in 2025 as the, as a starting pitcher. I'm I'm counting on that. Um, so the Astros aren't ready to give up on him yet. He's been good. He's just not been what we've all thought he would be so far. And I think that's going to come. I just think that's going to come in 2025. But, I mean, we'll see. Uh, he could be a starting pitcher to start out the season, especially if Luis Garcia and... Uh, and especially if Luis Garcia and Lance McCullers Jr. are not fully healthy to start off the season. Lu- Luis can be out till June. Lance can be out till May. So uh, definitely Hunter would get some starts in throughout the season. And then Rafael Montero and Brian Abreu would fill out the bullpen. Um, and you'd have other guys in the minors like Bennett Suosa, who showed some really good things at the end of the year last year. Seth Martinez, uh, Ronald Blanco. So a lot of a lot of candidates for the Astros bullpen as well in the minors. And that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know your thoughts and peace out. Go Astros.